Hi friends, this is Talent V. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you are here to do so, we encourage you to consider doing so. Subscribe, it is free. You wouldn't pay anything for the subscription. The advantage is that all new videos that come, you will get notification. Now, we want to see how we can use our calculator to work with fractions. Remember, we have already said that this calculator comes with a natural display, meaning it follows the steps in your regular master's book to get the final answer. The difference between the calculator and the textbook is that the textbook will give you the step-by-step -step approach, but with the calculator, you get the final product, that is the answer. So, let's go. Now, we want to enter this on it. So, 3 over 4. Remember, this is a fraction. So, you first press the fraction button, and then you enter 3 over 4. So, 3 is entered. You press the down key to go down, and then we press 4. So, we finish with this. Now, we have to add the plus, and you can only do that by moving the cursor up. So, you press the right key. So, when I press it, the cursor is now up. Then I bring my addition sign. And then this one, 7 over 8 is also a fraction. So, you go for the fraction key. And then you enter 7. Then you go down. And then you enter the down one. That is 8. Having finished with this, you still have to move the cursor up by pressing the right arrow key. So, I do that. And I have my plus entered and then you enter one half that is also fraction so you go to fraction you enter one then you go down and then you enter two so my fraction has been entered because we are dealing with examination it is always important for you to cross check with the question to be sure that exactly what you have in the question is what has been entered once you are convinced that exactly what you have is the correct thing just press the equal sign. So it means when you add 3 over 4 plus 7 over 8 plus 1 half, you are getting 17 over 8. You can still change this one to mixed numbers. To change it to mixed numbers, you press shift and then you press the SD. Okay, so that is giving us 2 whole number 1 over 8. If you want this to be in um, decimals, just press the SD. So this time you are pressing the SD without the shift. So when I press the SD, I have this. Remember, when you press shift and SD, it will change it to mixed fraction. Okay, uh, that is make, to change it to mixed numbers. And if you just press SD, it will go for the decimal. Okay, so we are done with the first example. Let's come to the second example. Simplify two whole number one over three minus one whole number one over four now remember this is a mixed number okay and you can so enter this on the calculator now whenever you want to enter a mixed number on the calculator first you must press shift and then you press the fraction key so you are getting the mixed number so we have two whole number and i write two then you move the arrow okay using the right side it will go up Two whole number one. So I enter one. Then you use the down arrow. Okay, you go down and you enter three. So I have three entered here. Okay, so I have three. Okay, thank you. So three entered. Now that I am done entering, I need to move the cursor up. And to do that, you use the right key. So right key, the cursor comes up. And then you have to enter the minus. So minus. Then we have one whole number 1 over 4. This is also a mixed number. And to get a mixed number, you must press shift and then you press the fraction button. You are getting your mixed number. So let's enter one whole number. Having finished with that, I use the right arrow. It will go up and then I have 1 over 4. So you use the down arrow and then you enter the 4. So once again, once you are satisfied, that exactly the equation you have is what you have in the question. Then you press the equal sign and then you are getting your answer. So again, this is a mixed number. And as we are, this is a mixed uh, improper fraction, okay? The top one is bigger than the down one. If you want your answer to be in decimal, just press the SD. And if you want your answer to be in mixed numbers, you press shift 
and then you press SD. So let's go. So shift and then um, SD. We are having it in the um, mix numbers. If you want it to be in decimal, just press the SD and you are there. Okay, so that is how you can work with fraction any day, any time your work involves fraction. Okay, so now let's go for the third question. We have simplified 1 on 2 plus 3 on 4 of 3 on 5 and uh, 2 on 5 divided by 1 whole number 3 over 5. Now, once again, your calculator actually deals with natural display. And so it follows the board mass principle. And you want to enter exactly this equation correctly. The rest, you are good to go. That you are going to get the right figures in your work. Okay, so now let's go with that. So first, we have 1 over 2, which is a fraction. So you click the fraction button. So 1, and then you go down, and then you press 2. Okay, then you, pre you press the right arrow so you can move the cursor up. So we have plus. Then 3 on 4 is also a fraction. So you click on the fraction button and then 3, then you go down and then you press 4. Once you are done, you press the right arrow key so you can move the cursor up. And then we know off means times. Okay, so you get in place of the off, just put times there. So I place times here, and then I have five on uh, two on five, and that is also a fraction. So you click the fraction button. You have two divided by five. So you go down, and then you click the five, and then with the right arrow you can move the cursor up. Then divided by this is a mixed number. It's one whole number three on five. So once you are looking for a mixed number, you press the shift followed by the fraction key okay so we are having one whole number you move the uh, the cursor up and then three then you move the cursor down then we have five so you move it up once once again you are satisfied that this is the exact fraction in the question once you are okay with that then you simply press the equal sign and then you are getting your answer so this is how we are actually going to deal with work like this. Okay, so we also have other work that we are going to deal with. So let's move to the next page and let's see if our um, calculator is able to work on things like that. Okay, so what is key here is that make sure you always you enter exactly what you have here. And whatever you see of, replace it with multiplication. So let's go three, two on three. So fraction here, we have two, then you move down and then you, you press the three. Then with the right arrow, you move up. In place of the off, we are putting times here. And then we have six whole number three over four. This is a mixed number. So you press shift and then you press the fraction button. And we have six whole number with the arrow going up. You only enter 3 and then you go down and then you enter 4. So once again, you press the right arrow with, so that your case will come up. And we have divided by. So you divide this by. Now we have a bracket. So let's bring the bracket. And after the bracket, we have the max number 2, who number 4 over 15. And once again, to get the max numbers, you press shift. And then you press the fraction button. And then we have two whole numbers, so two. And then with the right arrow, you go up. We have four divided by 15, so one five. And then use the right arrow once again to move the cursor up. And then we have minus. Here again, we are having a max number. So you press shift, and then you press the fraction button. We have one whole number. Using the arrow, you go up, and then we have 2 on 3. So 2 divided, then you go down, and then we have 3. Then, once we are done, please make sure you move the arrow before you close the bracket. So I move the arrow, now I can close my bracket. So if you look at it, exactly this fraction that we are having, okay, on the calculator, um, is the same question that we are having in the question. Once you are satisfied that you have written exactly what is in the question, 
you press the equal sign. So we're having this. And this is an improper fraction. Convert that to mixed numbers. You press shift and then you press SD. You are getting a mixed number. To change this to decimals, you just press SD and you are getting decimal. Okay, so that is how to use the calculator. Now let's go to the next question. Uh -huh. So look at this. This becomes exciting. So you look at it carefully. We have two, 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8, all divided by. Okay, so to do with this, let's have brackets first. So that we, the top number will be in one bracket, and then the down number to be in one bracket. So we are having the bracket, so we can have the top numbers there. And so we have one half. So fraction, we have one divided by two. Okay, then you move the right arrow to take the Kesa up, minus. Then we have another fraction. So you click the fraction button. We have one, then you go down, and then four. So the Kesa is down. To bring it up, you press the right arrow. Okay, then we have plus. So plus one over eight. So we have fraction. You click on the fraction button. We have one. Then you go down. And then we have eight. Then you go up so that you can close the bracket. Now, if you close the bracket here like this, you see the bracket is down. And your work will be wrong. We don't want the bracket to be down. So to move it up, you press the right arrow. And now the bracket is up, so we can close the bracket. So all the top numbers have been written here. Now the next thing to do is to bring, so it's divided by, so we bring this divided sign, so this symbol, and then we are going to put the down numbers to also in brackets. So you bring this parenthesis, and then 3 on 16 is a, is a fraction. So we have fraction button, 3 and then we go down, then you press the 16, 1, 6. Okay, so then we have to move the cursor up, then the fraction button, so we, we now bring the sign that is plus, so plus comes in, and then we have 5 over 18. So you also bring the fraction button once again, and then you have 5, then we divide that by 18, that is 1, 8. And once again, remember, there is a bracket starting, so bracket should end. And to do that, move the cursor up by pressing the right arrow key, like this. And then you close your bracket. So with this, once you press the equal sign, if you are satisfied that this equation has been entered, you press the equal sign, and then you see, this is what you are getting. That is 54 over... Um, 67 and this is a proper fraction. So that is how we use our calculator to work for fractions Now we want to go to the second um, the last question and then work with it on the calculator Once again with this you bring a bracket and you put the top number all of them in one bracket Okay, and then the down one to you put all of them to in another bracket So now we are going to have the first one so we have a bracket coming, and this is a mixed number. So you press shift, and then you press the fraction button. Then we have five, and then five, whole number, three, and then you go down over four. Then you move the bracket at the, the cursor, you move it up by clicking the right arrow, and then divided by, so we have divided by, this is also a mixed number. So you press the mix number button, and we have 15 whole number, 1 over, so this time we have to press, move the cursor up by pressing this. Okay, so that is 1, and then we go down, and then we have 3. Okay, so we move the cursor up once again, then minus, so minus comes in, then this one too is a mix number, so you press your shift followed by the fraction button, and then you enter the data, that is 4, whole number, you go up, we have 1 over 2, so 1 divided by 2, so we have also that one there, then let's move the cursor up to the right arrow key, 
and then multiply that so times um, 2 over 15 so this one you just press you, there's only for you to go for shift and then this because shift and fraction will give you mixed numbers but this is just a fraction so fraction button then we enter 2 then you move down and then we have 15 coming once again you move the cursor up before you close the bracket so cursor going up and then we can close our bracket so all the top numbers have been indicated then all over so we divide that by now you should have a new bracket for the down numbers so bracket coming then we have fraction coming that is one half so one over two then we move up then minus we have seven on twenty so that is a fraction so fraction coming we have seven we go down and then we click on twenty then you move the arrow up before you close the bracket so arrow up now that i have entered all these values there you only click is equal to and then you are getting the answer negative three on two and this is an improper fraction to get a mixed number you press shift and then you press the sd and you are getting the number answer in mixed numbers so this is how you can use your calculator to solve for questions involving mixed numbers thank you so much for your time i am darling fee if you are yet to subscribe please make sure you subscribe thank you so much and stay well and stay sound have a good day bye bye